What's going on, pirates? Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. Today, we're going to talk about how you can solo the Ashen Skeleton Fleet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Fuck, there's no way I'm going to take on this craziness in my little sleep. But I assure you, it definitely can be done, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. If you're new to the Sea of Thieves, or perhaps a pirate that's never done the skeleton fleet before, there's a few things you should know. For starters, when you see the big ship cloud in the sky, that means there's a fleet up. Just head your sloop over to it, and it will begin. This event comes in three distinct waves. Each wave will have one to two ships, and each ship will either be a galleon, or a sloop, or a combination of both. In my experiences, I generally find that I'll have two sloops and three to four galleons. The skeleton captain at the end of the waves is always a galleon. The first thing you should know in tackling the skeleton fleet is always make sure you have ample resources. You know what you're thinking, yeah that makes sense, but you would be surprised how many players come to this fight ill prepared. They don't have enough resources to make it through to the end and they have to bail. For me, I generally bring at least 100 planks, 100 cannonballs, and an assortment of food. You never know what kind of stuff you're going to run into while you're in the middle of the fight. The Meg might unexpectedly attack you. You might have an extra skeleton ship. You might be caught in a storm. Or, the worst case scenario, you might get attacked by another player. So make sure you have a lot of supplies so that you can weather whatever's going to happen. When the horns sound, it means the event has started. The first thing you need to do is take your ship towards the closest rocks. There's two reasons for this. First, it offers you protection from cannon fire. The second reason is because it will help split the ships up and force them to go in different directions. The skeleton fleet is extremely difficult to beat if you have to deal with two ships at the same time. It is imperative that you split them up so you can tackle one at a time. One of the biggest complications of this fight is going to be fire. The skeleton ships will always shoot firebombs at you. And you need to know how to deal with those. Don't panic, they're really not that bad. They do very little damage to your ship and they spread very slowly. Ideally what you should do is first put yourself out, then tackle the fires on your boat. One of the things that I try to do is leave a small hole in the back of my sloop so that I always have a constant water source. The water barrel is good, but in the middle of a fight, when you're on fire, and your ship is burning, and you're taking damage, I almost always forget to refill it. In my experience, the fire bombs really aren't that effective against the skeleton ships. The fires go out relatively quickly, and the skeletons respawn almost immediately. These tend to be more effective if you save them for when other players start snooping around. Skeleton sloops are pretty easy to deal with. You can sink them in 10 cannonballs or less. I would suggest aiming towards their gunner as they won't be able to return fire. Save your cursed cannonballs. Don't use them on the sloops. You're going to need them for the galleons later on. Additionally, you can do free damage by driving them into the rocks. Skeletons are pretty stupid, but they tend to crash a lot. You can also use your harpoon gun to help direct them into the rocks. Finally, the skeletons love to ram you. You should use that to your advantage. Skeletons are unable to bail water out of their ship, so if they hit you, they've already done holes. All you need to do is bail your water onto their ship. If you can do it long enough, it's a free sink. Galleons are another beast entirely. It is extremely important that you do not get into their firing arc, as they can cause a lot of damage very quickly. I highly, highly recommend that you hug those rocks very tightly. Reduce the amount of damage coming in on your ship, and force them to run over the rocks and do damage to themselves. Your ultimate goal 
the galleon is to maneuver yourself in behind them. Use your harpoon to lock them down, raise up your sails, and pull them into an arc where you can shoot the back of their ship. If you repeatedly hit the same area numerous times, you'll be able to create level 3 holes, which will sink them very, very quickly. This is the best way by far I've found to sink galleons. Additionally, this is a great time to start using those cursed cannonballs that you've saved. A ballast ball will do in a galleon very quickly. Also, a helm ball will work very well to help drive them into the rocks. If you get too close, bail water onto their ship. They're just like the sloops, they're unable to bail water out. Now that you've learned some tips on how to win, what are some of the common mistakes that could cause you to lose? The first mistake would be getting off your ship. You might be tempted in between rounds to jump off and go collect some treasure from one of the ships that you just sunk. Don't do it, it's a trap. As soon as that ship despawns, the next wave begins. If you're caught in the water when another wave spawns, there's a very good chance that you might get sunk right then and there. Another common mistake is to try and use barrels. Now I know what you're thinking, barrels are great, they do lots of damage, they take out the skeletons, they're highly effective against ships. However, barrels are highly dangerous and put you in a situation where your ship is left undefended too much. Once you've retrieved your barrel, there's a chance that a stray cannonball could hit it and blow you up. Additionally, while in the water, you might miss your board at which point your ship is also undefended and you've left a powder keg sitting in the water that could cause problems later on. And even if you do make the board, there's a chance that the skeletons could kill you. There's a chance that the keg could kill you. There's a chance that the keg could also damage your ship, causing it to sink. Kegs just aren't worth it. Don't use them. The last and most crucial mistake that you could make is to get into open water and go toe to toe with a ship. If it's a galleon, it's four cannons versus one, and they will absolutely destroy you. If you lose a mass out in open water, it's lights out. Stick to those rocks, force them to come to you. Last but not least, what happens if you get attacked by another player? Here's an example where I was attacked by a brig while doing the skeleton fleet. I know as a solo slooper, I will not be able to sink this brig. One guy can bail indefinitely. I'm always going to get shot by another or boarded, and they're going to have someone constantly on the wheel. It's very, very hard to sink a brig. In my experience, the best way to handle another player is just attrition. Wait them out. You have ample supplies, right? You've prepared for this, right? You should be able to outlast these guys because most people don't bring enough supplies to this fight. So my strategy in this case was to allow them to do the work for me. I forced the skeleton ships on them. I forced them to use their resources in order to deal with the skeleton ships and me, and I just bided my time. When the opportunity was right, I'd fill them full of holes. If they were ever anchor balled, if they were dealing with multiple skeleton ships, or if I saw them trying to stop and collect resources at barrels, I would immediately get in there and start filling them full of holes. Eventually, they just gave up. They had no ability to stop me. They had no ability to kill me. They were unable to board my ship Bye -bye. and essentially just ran away. So you've managed to survive the skeleton ships, megalodons, storms, and other players. 
What do you get for completing the Ashen Skeleton Fleet? Well, you get all kinds of treasure. You're going to get four Captain's Skulls, four Captain's Chests, two Ritual Skulls, three Ashen Chests, and a bunch of extra loot. I hope you guys find this video really helpful the next time you take on the Skeleton Fleet. If you do, consider subscribing to my channel and leave me a comment below. I want to get your feedback on this video. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.